Hi, today I'm going to explain an episode from an American adult animated anthology, Love, Death, and Robots, called Ice Age. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. A young couple has just moved into their brand new apartment. The husband, named Rob, brings boxes of their belongings into the house, while his wife Gail places utensils in the kitchen. Gail is bothered by an old fridge that the landlord had kept in the apartment. They cannot get rid of it, but it looks hideous in the kitchen. Rob tries to be optimistic and tells her that old fridges have technology that the new ones don't, like the massive motor it has on top of it. Gail sarcastically says that it is insane, making fun of her husband's geekiness. Tired after carrying all the boxes, she suggests they drink some wine. Rob opens the old fridge to see if it has some ice. To his surprise, he sees thick chunks of ice covering the freezer. He gets a cube and puts it in his drink. They sit down and make a toast to their new house. After taking a sip, Rob notices a strange structure in the ice. When Rob realizes what it is, he doesn't seem to believe his eyes. He hands the cube to Gail, asking her to confirm there's something in it. She brings out a magnifying glass and the two look into it to see a tiny mammoth frozen in the cube. The two are confused and surprised. They notice that the tiny creature was hunted because it has spears in its side. A confused Gale goes back to the freezer and removes pieces of ice to finally reveal a tiny working medieval civilization. The time inside the freezer seems to be passing by faster as the people go about their normal day in seconds. The couple is fascinated and baffled as to how this can be possible. The people inside do not seem to care about large giants watching them. Sometime later, Rob buries the mammoth's tiny body under their houseplant. Gale makes fun of him and opens the freezer again to see that the medieval time has changed to the Industrial Revolution. While they were away for a few minutes, decades have gone by in the freezer. They watch people build tall buildings and houses in seconds. Rob is sad because he missed the Renaissance period and wonders if the people inside the freezer think they are gods. Just then, two construction workers from inside the freezer complain about the two idiots who watch them every day, saying that they're tired of looking at the broccoli in Gale's teeth. In no time, the industrial era changes into the modern era and massive skyscrapers are built. Tiny objects fly over the buildings, which Rob is confused about, but Gale suggests that they might be airplanes. The couple watches in fascination as the time changes to the present. Rob laughs, looking at a Starbucks building, trying to relate to the tiny world. He moves closer to get a better look when suddenly, a massive bright missile launches on the tiny city. A startled Rob falls back to the kitchen floor as Gale tries to help him. The people inside the freezer are at war and everything seems to be destroyed. The couple gets a look at humanity's harsh future, but doesn't seem to care. Gale closes the refrigerator, claiming that the people cannot outgrow a war in a few minutes so they should come back later. The two order a pizza and enjoy it, completely ignoring the nuclear war happening inside their freezer. About an hour later, Rob suggests they check what is going on inside. The couple seems to be afraid to open the freezer, fearing they would look at the extinction of humans. However, they are met with a pleasant surprise when they finally open it. The war has ended and mankind has recovered from it. They even notice flying cars and compare the tiny futuristic place to the Emerald City humans are more advanced than ever before. The futuristic world has several skyscrapers connected with bridges in the beginning, but then a singular pyramid-like structure takes over. They assume that everyone lives inside the pyramid now. When the pyramid unfolds, it reveals a diamond-shaped structure inside. The structure absorbs the whole city, and soon, a sphere of energy forms in the middle. It finally bursts, sending sparks of energy flying into the couple's kitchen. They watch in fascination as the sparks jump around the room like fireflies. They believe that humans have unfolded every secret of the universe and are now traveling around space that is beyond their expectations. Then, the sparks of light converge into the sphere again and transfer into the freezer, which the couple assumes is their true home. At last, the sphere disappears, presumably indicating the end of the world. The couple watches the empty freezer in confusion. Rob wonders if they are coming back, but Gail claims that it is unlikely. Rob finally unplugs the refrigerator, and the couple hug, having witnessed the past, present, and future of humanity in the past few hours. It is now the following morning, 
The two wake up and continue with their morning routine. However, the thought of last evening hasn't left their minds. They decide to open the freezer for the last time to check if everything is really over. To their utmost surprise, the era of dinosaurs has returned. Several tiny apes eat the flesh from a dead dinosaur. They run away as another dinosaur attacks them. The episode ends as the couple continues to watch the tiny creatures in their natural habitat. This episode of Love, Death, and Robots is particularly famous for the interesting concept of the whole creation, evolution, and the end of mankind being shown in minuscule measurements. The concept of both time and dimension is challenged by a magical freezer. It is only right to call the freezer a natural phenomenon because how it came into existence is never explained in the short movie. Some fans of the show believe that the fridge belonged to the previous owners, who were tired of watching the fate of humanity repeatedly, so they left it in the house before moving. The film also provides us hope for the future, because the world inside the freezer recovered from the most devastating war mankind had ever seen. However, by watching Rob and Gail order pizza and enjoy it while the little world was at war, we come across the negligence of people and their non-existent sense of responsibility towards the problems of the world. In this short film, we can witness a possible future of humanity that doesn't end in its extinction. Unlike the usual devastating endings that most of the movies predict, Ice Age shows us the possibility of humans figuring out the universe and becoming one with it. The ball of energy formed in the pyramid-like tower is most likely a technology that allows them to escape reality. After finding out every secret about our existence, the ball of energy disappeared into thin air, indicating that humans changed dimensions and have become a higher being. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.